question number eight a standard deck of cards is shuffled and 10 cards are placed on the table in a row your younger brother turns up these cards before you could stop him second card ace of clubs fourth card three of diamonds fifth card three of clubs seventh card king of hearts ninth card queen of spades and tenth card is nine of clubs knowing the cards that your brother turned over what is the probability that the first card is heart now before we begin to answer these questions let's understand one thing that we have six cards which are open so we have six open cards correct so total of 52 minus 6 which is equal to 46 not open now that should help us to answer most of the questions second is since we are given like second days so for better understanding what I've done here is I picked up these cards from the deck arranged them as described so that really helps you to answer the question so that is the situation correct so in a way we have second cl clubs ace fourth diamond three fifth clubs three sixth seventh king of hearts ninth and tenth are queen of spades and nine of diamonds now we'll keep this in mind as we answer our questions correct does it make sense to you so it becomes slightly simpler okay so i'm going to keep this hand on the side what is the probability that the first card is hearts now from the open cards we have one heart right which is we already have one heart which is king of hearts so what is the probability that the first card is heart so out of 13 we have already taken away one so we are left with 12 correct so the probability is 12 out of 46, right? So, so we have 46 left. And as far as the hearts are concerned, only 12 are left, right? So we have 12 over 46 as the answer. Does make sense to you, okay? Now let's look into part B, which is, what is the probability that the third card is a face card? Now, as far as the face cards are concerned, how many face cards do we have? And how many are already open? Well, we have 12 face cards, correct? King, Queen and Jack are the face cards of four suits. So we have two of them already here. So 12 minus two is 10, right? So 12 minus two is 10. So we have 12 minus 2, which is 10, divided by 46. So that gives us 10 over 46 as our result. Okay. We will simplify them later to the lowest terms. First, let's get the answers. Now, part C is, what is the probability that the third card is a club and the sixth card is a diamond? So that means these are two independent events we are going to multiply, right? So, so we are going to multiply with clubs and diamonds, right? So, so we want third card is clubs. How many clubs do we already have here? So as you can see here, we already have three clubs, right? So from 13 we have taken away 3 so let's say 13 minus 3 so the probability of getting club will be that divided by 46 now once you get a club out of it then we are only left with 45 cards and we have to select a diamond and how many diamonds do we have only three of diamonds has been taken away right only three of diamonds is here so 12 are in the deck so here out of 13 three of diamonds has been taken away so that becomes the probability of getting diamonds right so this is 10 over 46 times 12 over 45 
So I hope you understand the concept. That is how we have to answer this particular question. Correct? Now you can simplify them and write down in the lowest terms. Dividing by 2, we get 6 over 23. Dividing by 2, we get 5 over 23. Here, you could simplify this a bit. So you could divide this by 2. You get 6 and you get 23 here, right? Divide these by 5. Okay, let's use another ink. 5 times 2 and 5 times 9. And 6 times 3 times, I mean, sorry, 3 times 2 gives us 6 and 3 times 3. So we get 4 over 69 as our answer, right? 4, 2 times 2 and 3 times 23 is 69. So we get 4 over 69 as answer for part C. Is that clear to you? Correct? So we have our solutions for each. This is 6 over 23 and B is 5 over 23 and C is 4 over 69. Is that clear? So that is how you could answer this particular question.